Welcome to a special edition of Global News Decision 2022. This is when you get to have your say about who should run Ontario's municipal governments. Polling stations like this one will close in about half hour, uh, though there are a few places where voting places will be open as late as 10 p.m because of some technical issues. You know, local governments do not always get the heavy coverage you see for politics at the provincial or federal levels, but it is important to remember that what is decided at City Hall can directly affect your day-to-day -day life. Housing, transit, traffic, when your garbage gets picked up, all of that, of course, controlled locally. And tonight, you are electing mayors, councillors, regional chairs, and others who will soon be handed that power. We also have a team of reporters covering key races tonight. Matthew Bingley is at John Tory's headquarters. Karen Lieberman is covering one of his main rivals in the race for mayor, Gil Penalosa. Bernie Rosen is at Bonnie Crombie headquarters in Mississauga. And our Mark Carcassel will be reporting from the headquarters of incumbent Brampton mayor, Patrick Brown. Our Sean O'Shea is live in Hamilton. He is following former Ontario NDP leader Andrea Horvath's attempt to win the mayor's chair in the hammer. Our Queen's Park Bureau Chief Colin DeMello is standing by with his insights into the relationship between local officials and the province. Hello, Colin. And soon after the polls close at 8 p.m., we'll expect results to pretty quickly come in. You can follow the major races in your part of Ontario. Just go to our website, globalnews.ca. We also want to introduce our panel of experts that we will be drawing on all evening. We have Ed Keenan, columnist with the Toronto Star with a focus on people and politics in Toronto. We also have with us Olivia Chow, former NDP MP and former Toronto City Councillor, who also made a run for Toronto Mayor at one point as well. Thanks so much for joining us, Olivia and Ed, and we welcome you to our show. She's at 7%, which is not going to... There's no path to victory from there, mm -hmm. and but I, I think uh, to she, she's cut in here yeah. because we are declaring uh, we have a decision now that John Tory has been elected the new or the same Toronto mayor. So he is now going to be serving a third term as mayor in Toronto. Uh, let's uh, go to Matt Bingley, who is at John Tory headquarters with reaction to that. Matt. Well, Alan, a big cheer as uh, it, it was declared for John Tory within the room. Uh, obviously, a lot of people coming out to support him this time around. A lot of his key supporters. Uh, just a reminder that Tory had campaigned on this staying the course, uh, a, a real theme of that. But. It is also important to point out that just from some of the early numbers that we're seeing, it appears that the vote is way down. There were questions among some if just getting out the number of people to vote would be enough. But